Okay, this video is for my subscriber, uh, Theo. He wanted to see how well the, um, the ICOM IC7300 would tune up on um, my inverted L antenna. So I'm going to go through the amateur radio bands, and I'm going to show you um, how well it receives on the shortwave bands, because I've been blown away today um, with the stuff I've been receiving. Um, as a receive antenna, this thing is doing an amazing job. Um, as a ham radio antenna... Uh, it's kind of hit and miss. So first let's go through the amateur radio vans here and tune up. Um, it's uh, 245 uh, local time here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so here's 160 meters. I seriously doubt this thing is going to tune up on 160. Um, we'll just look at the noise level. That's just insane. So let's do a quick tune up. Yep. <laughs> That's a big, no, I do not want to tune up. Uh, so let's hit the meter here real quick. Take a look at SWR. This is Kilo Delta 9 Lima Victor Radio, KD9 LVR clear. As you can tell there, the uh, SWR is <laughs> pretty much off the scale, so 160 is a no-go. So, let's try 80 meters. Oh, this is the AM portion of the band. I gotta switch hands here. Uh, let's just tune down here. Okay, 3846. Oops, sorry. Uh, switch it to to lower side band. Luckily, this time of the day, um, 80 slash 75 meters really isn't too busy. Except you saw there for the AM portion of it, that seems to be pretty busy right now. Which makes sense, because up on 40 meters, there's all those um, broadcasters on right now. Okay, so let's do a tune-up. Yeah, you see when that happens, basically it's telling me that the SWR is too high and <laughs> it's not even going to try. I'll try it one more time. Yep, that's a big nope. So here's the SWR meter. KD9 LVR 12345, KD9 LVR testing, KD9 LVR clear. Just like uh, 80 meters, the SWR is off the scale. It's a big nope. Okay, so go up to 40 meters here. Well, basically, just take my word for this one. Um, the band is so crowded, I don't want to try tuning it up because I might splatter on somebody. But just you know, just take my word for 40 meters. Um, I was actually actually got into mid cars um, this morning right before noon local time. Uh, talked to uh, Sean in Canada, um, Victor Echo Three Papa Sierra Victor, nice gentleman. Uh, I'm going to skip um, 30 meters because, oops, sorry about that. Uh, right now I don't do CW and I, not, I'm not interested in doing code, or uh, data, sorry. Okay, there's somebody there. Okay, so, okay, hit the tuner. Yeah, that's a uh, big... Nope. Kilo Delta 9, Lima Victor Radio, testing 1, 2, 3, KD9 LVR testing, and clear. Yeah, as you can tell, the SWR is high, and when the SWR is high, um, I believe you can only do about 50 watts of power, it limits you to. So, 20 meters is a nope. But surprisingly enough, uh, here we go. Oh. Can always tell when the washing machine is going downstairs. Broad interference on this band. Um, okay. Well, with that interference going on, I'm not going to try tuning up or, you know, talking because I don't want to accidentally tune up over someone. 
But uh, basically, you get the gist. I, I've tried it on, um, let's see here, 15 meters, which is, you know, 21 megahertz, nothing. 24 megahertz, which is, what, 12 meters, nothing. 10 meters it tunes up on. So, for amateur radio use, I can tune up on 40, 17, and 10 meters. But like I said, for a, um, just for listening to the shortwave broadcasts, this, um, my antenna is working, uh, phenomenally. So, let's see here, let's just go down to, okay, I gotta do frequency input real quick. Oop. Uh, 5.8. And I'm not even gonna bother rattling off which each station is, because that'll take a little bit to just switch back between, back and forth between the radio and, um, my computer. But you see these lines here? These are all um, various broadcasters that are on the air right now. And a lot of this stuff I haven't even heard before. Just look at all this. Resulting soon in the and the conquest of This is, you know, just amazing. And I think one of the things is, oops, sorry, usually with my older and other antennas, the noise level on, on um, was this um, 60 meters, I believe. It would be S, <coughs> excuse me, S5 or higher, whereas, well, just look at this. It's an S1, maybe. So as a receive antenna, this inverted L is doing one heck of a job. Um, now, if only I could get to tune up on like 20 meters, and doubtful I'd love to get on 80 meters also, but don't think I'd be able to. But anyhow, so this is how my new antenna is performing. Uh, let me know what you think. And as always, peace and all that good stuff.